Jewish people are disproportionately richer than most ethnic groups. In your opinion, I want to know what you think. Why? Yeah, I think I think there's a I think there's a number of reasons. I think number one, it has to do with a mindset, and I think that mindset is one of understanding, you know, what is a biblical perspective on faith. And, and see, I think that Christians have this idea that being poor is spiritual. And, you know, and I think there's an over-spiritualization in the church sometimes of a sign of spirituality where Jewish people understand that wealth is a blessing from God. Amen. And they have the faith to believe for it yep. and to trust God for it. But I think there is something else. I think part of it has to do with community and family. See, identity is destiny. Every Friday night we celebrate Shabbat dinner and the parents bless their children. The husbands bless their wives. Give me an example. Give me an example of that. All right. Tell so me. we're sitting around. How do you bless your children? Yes. Yeah, so, you right. so, so we're sitting around the table and there's a traditional prayer for the boys. May God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh. For the girls, may God make you like Sarah, Rachel, Rebecca, and Leah. And then there's the ironic benediction. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. Be gracious to you. May he give you shalom. And then I speak personal blessings over my kids. Hey, this is what I see in you. This is what God has called you to be. This is who God has created you to be, right? And so my kids have an entrepreneurial spirit and a boldness because that has been spoken mm. over their life. It's been inculcated in them. They know they have a family that believes in them. They have, a, you know, like, again, my son is 17. He's starting a clothing brand. Yes. And, you know, he's out there going be a for it. So right? Right. Like, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, be, because why? Be, because we've always been there to encourage him and support him and told him, listen, you have the ability to do it and the responsibility to do it. And have tried to inculcate that mindset in them. So I think there is that sense of Jewish understanding that we have a responsibility more than anything else to invest in the next generation. Cool. That is our primary commitment is to invest in the next generation. From generation to generation has been one of the cries of the Jewish community. And so I think that there are other ethnic groups that share that value as well. But I think in America, if we understood that there is no greater importance than to be a father or a mother, to invest in our children, to pursue the success of our children, and then not just give them the... Um, financial tools, which is important, but to give them, to create in them an identity and a mindset that is entrepreneurial from the time they are young, yeah. then yeah. it gives them the ability to think that it's actually, it's actually possible. <laughs>